Hello, my name is Maggie. Today we're going to be doing the festive book tag, and I was not tagged, but who really cares? And I'm doing this tag, and I have a paper with me, and here we go. So yeah, um, number one, fictional family you would like to have spent Christmas dinner with. Uh, that would definitely be Ron's family, the Weasley family from Harry Potter. Um, I love the Weasleys, and I literally just can't get enough of them that I would love to spend every day, not only just Christmas, but every day with them. So, there you go. <laughs> so much chaoticness that I'm like, I need to spend more time with this family. So, and I'm actually currently rereading the series, so there you go. Anyway, next question. A book, a bookish item that you would like to receive as a gift. Um, definitely the Time Turner, and more... Of people's wands from Harry Potter and bookmarks and such so and if you've noticed I said my shirt says bring the mistletoe lol so you can't really see it but it's there anyway um next question a gift a gift a fictional character you think would make a perfect Christmas elf and that would for me I think it would definitely be Patrick from the Perks of Being a Wallflower. Yep. <laughs> I love Patrick, and he's such an awesome person that he makes a good little elf. Um, and also, um, Charlie as well. I was going to say Sam, but that's not, no, no. Definitely Charlie and Patrick from the Perks of Being a Wallflower would definitely make a good elf or elves. So, there you go. Uh, next question. Match a book to its Christmas song. Um, I didn't really have a book for this, but I was just going to go with the, the Grinch Who Stole Christmas because he already has his own song anyway, so there you go. And next question, Bah Humbug, a book, a fictional character, or a, a book or a fictional character you've been disappointed and should be put on the naughty list. Um, I'm definitely going to have to go with two characters, or three characters for this, um, Dolores Umbridge is my no number one, and she is the m number one for my most top hated list for fictional characters, because if you've read Harry Potter, you know, okay? You just know. You hate her more than Voldemort, and he is number two slash three on my top list of villains, so there you go. And I'm also going to go with Count Olaf from A Series of Fortune Events. So, yeah, they all deserve to be on the naughty list. So, there you go. Uh, number six. A book or character you think deserves more appreciation and deserves to be on the ni nice list. Um, this, t this, ca I'm going to go with the character because I'm literally going to, I think he really deserves all the appreciation and su such. And I'm going to go with Neville Longbottom from Harry Potter. I just love Neville so much that I literally think that he deserves everything in the world. If you've read Harry Potter, you know, and other things. So, I'm going to go with Neville. <laughs> so, happy Christmas. Um, yeah. Uh, next question. Red, gold, and green. A book that has a Christmassy feel to it. Um, I'm gonna, well, other than, like, children's books, I've never really, I don't think I've ever really, like, read a Christmas book that was, like, for young adults or everyone else that was not a child. <laughs> but, other than this book, I'm gonna, I'm, like, yeah, I'm gonna go with Dash and Lily's Book of Dears by David Levithan and Rachel Cohen. I, I read this three years ago, I think, or maybe a couple of years ago. And I really liked it, and it it was set in Christmas time, so I literally read it in Christmas time, or this time of year, you know, Christmas, whatever. And I literally just loved this book that I would recommend it to everyone if you're really wanting to have a Christmassy feel right now. So yes, and a last question: a book or series you love so much that you want everyone to find under their Christmas tree and want them to read it and love it too. I have two for this because 
I, I know that I talk about them a lot on my channel. I can't recommend them enough. Uh, one series I have not finished yet, to be honest, but I am going to finish it soon. Hopefully, I have two books of that books left of that series, and they're both by the same author, but they're two completely different series. And one is Dark Secrets by Elizabeth Chandler. I was I was gonna say Emily, but that's not her name. Elizabeth Chandler. And I really liked this series. I read it, like, I think four years ago. I forget. Um, yeah. And the other series was also Kiss by an Angel by Elizabeth Chandler. Elizabeth Chandler. And I have yet to read the last couple books of this series. And I really recommend both of these series, even though I haven't completed this one yet. But I really like them both from what I've read so far of this one. At the most part. So, I literally just love them both that I want everyone to just literally go and read them. So, there you go. And that's it. I will see you next week with another new video. Goodbye!